We'll guide you through how to live stream your iPad screen to YouTube. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Perhaps you've got a game or something else you wish to go and stream. So to go and get started with this, you need to go and open up the App Store as we do need an app. At the top, you can press search and type in an app called Streamlabs. What you can then do is go and open it up like so. You'll then go and open up. What we can do is rotate our iPad around. So at the bottom, I recommend signing with YouTube as we can then go and stream straight to there. So we can press YouTube at the bottom. Then I'll go and press continue. Choose the channel you want to go and do this with. I'll do it with tutorial example, like so. There'll be some different permissions we need to go through, so I'll do that now. Just to note, live streaming will need to be enabled on the YouTube channel or account. We've got a video on how you can do that. Now, just to give you a brief guide, in the top left, you can press these three lines and you're going to go and have these different options here. You don't actually need to go and change many of these to go and get started, but you can if you want to. Like that, you can go and switch between the cameras. You can press scenes in the top right and what you can do is go and add your first scene. We can go and see the different layouts here and you can go through pre-made and custom. I'll just select this one here and press create new scene and we can press save in the top left. At the bottom, you can flip the camera, mute the audio and over to the right, you can tap the chat and also the event list. But to go live, all you need to do is press go live. We can select screen share and press next. Switch on YouTube in the top right and then you can go and select new broadcast here and you can go and select create event. You could use the others, but you're probably wanting to use a create event to start a new one. Press next and then you can go and fill out the information here. Set the access to public for people to see it and schedule to now. Add a thumbnail if you wish. And then at the bottom, you can choose the quality. I think it's worth doing it in 1080p. So we're going to set that to 3500 like so. Then what we can do is press go live. Press the live button. We can switch on our mic and press start broadcast. Now we're going to get a countdown. You're now live. So what you can do is go and press close there and you can come out of the app and we're now going to be streaming our iPad screen. So you can go and do what you want to. When you're finished and you want to stop it, you can come and press on the red button in the top right and you can then go and press stop like so. 